on Crystal Clear Crew. Welcome back to my channel guys. It's a brand new day which means I got a brand new vlog for y'all. If you're new to my channel, my name's Crystal. I post videos every single day so make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the crew. So since you guys really enjoyed my story time I did last week, I wanted to do another story time this week. I think I'm gonna start doing story times like once a week, maybe twice a week, but you guys seem to enjoy it. You guys seem to uh, get to know me better by doing story times, by me doing story times. So I think I'm gonna be doing this more often. But for today, I've been getting a lot of questions from a lot of people and even like my friends, my family, they're always asking me like, hey, why are you single? Or, you know, are you talking to anybody? You know, who is this girl you're talking to? Who is that girl you're talking to? Or, you know, like just questions like that in general. And so I thought, why not use my, you know, YouTube platform to like just throw a story out there so that you guys all can know exactly what's going on with my love life. Honestly, my love life right now isn't like that great. It's like pretty dry, to be honest. But I'm actually really loving it because like being single is like the most like amazing thing that I've experienced like within like the last like couple months. So I got out of a relationship like eight months ago. I was with this girl for like a year and I mean we had like a great time together I would say as far as like my point of view like we had a great time together but things just didn't work out we didn't see a lot of things eye to eye and there was just a lot of like difficulties communicating and so you know we ended things and things didn't end really well but i'm not gonna sit here and bash on her or anything like that because it's not fair for her that i'm sitting here telling my story and she can't sit here and tell her story and so i'm just not even gonna get into that but if you guys are wondering like i am single i'm not really talking to anybody right now i have friends that i've met on like my apps that i have which i showed you guys tinder the other day and like i have pof and like i have this app called her and like i meet people I, we were friends but i haven't really like found somebody that i can like really connect with mentally and physically and so i'm just waiting for that person to come but for right now i'm not really looking like if that person comes that person comes right now my main focus really is just to focus on myself focus on like my whole youtube thing and then focus on like my future because i mean i really want to become successful you know in life i am you know turning 26 tomorrow so it's like my life is flashing before my eyes and so i'm just trying to just you know work my way through life uh myself and just trying to like figure everything out and honestly like right now like i'm loving it I enjoy being single more than I've enjoyed being in a relationship just because I'm able to just focus on myself. I don't have to focus on another person. And if you guys know me, for those of you who do, when I'm in a relationship with a girl, I like tend to put the girl first and I make her my priority and I just make sure like she's taken care of before I am. And so this time around, I am able to, you know, take care of myself first. And so I think that's the part that has really been eye opening for me because I'm able to you know do that for myself and be able to like love myself first and put myself first and take care of myself first rather than taking care of somebody else not saying that you know my future relationship I'm not going to do that to my girl because that's just not the way I am but being single and living the single life these past couple months has been pretty freaking amazing and I mean I'm not gonna lie yes I get lonely you know here and there I see all my friends in relationships, I see people getting pregnant, I see people getting married, and I'm like, yo, like, you know, like, when am I going to do that because these people are like my age, you know? But honestly, I just sit down and I think to myself, you know, when the time is right for me, that's when I know it's right for me. Like, God has a person for me out there, and when I meet that person, and when the time is right, then, you know, that'll be my time. And so that's just what I've been living by these past couple months. So to answer your questions, you guys, because a lot of you guys have asked me if I've, like, am I seeing anybody or, like, am I talking to anybody? And honestly, like, no. I was t kind of talking to this one girl, but things just didn't really work out the way that we wanted it to. So we kind of stopped. And I'm not even going to lie. At the moment, I really didn't know what I wanted because I'm just going through a lot with my life myself. And then I'm just super busy with YouTube. Like, I literally post videos every single day. So I'm constantly filming. I'm constantly editing. You know, I'm constantly doing all this stuff, like, on my computer and all that. So it's bad to say that I don't have time for a relationship. But it's okay for me to say that because I am aware that I'm not ready for a relationship. And I admit to it. I rather you know sit here and admit that hey I don't have time for a relationship or hey I don't know what I want because if I didn't admit to it and I was in a relationship with a girl it wouldn't be fair to her and so like that person that I was talking to it just kind of like I mean some things happen on her end and then things also happen on my end and so things just didn't work out at the end so we just kind of stopped talking and I mean if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you know who you are. I mean, I hope you're doing well. I haven't really talked to you, but 
I hope you're doing really well and you know like I hope I could talk to you soon because I mean I miss talking to you like I said I mean I've seen a lot of my friends you know a lot of my friends are getting married or having babies and like you know they're getting engaged and going on these trips with their boo and I'm like damn like you know when is that gonna be me and it's like honestly right now like like, if I wanted to, like, I could just go on a trip myself, which I've done before, and honestly, it's, like, the best thing ever. Because, for one, it's, like, you don't have to worry about anything. Like, I don't have to worry about, oh, hitting up my girl, be like, oh, hey, babe, like, you know, like, I'm doing so-and-so, like, you know. Or, like, I don't gotta hit her up and be like, hey, like, how are you doing? Like, not that I don't want to, but, and not that I'm, like, tired of it, because that's, like, a bad way to put it. And I don't want people to think like, oh, you know, she's not ready for a relationship and like whatnot. Like honestly, like if the right person came, like best best believe, like I would be ready. Like you can ask anybody that knows me, my friends, they know that I put like I literally put my girl first. And that's why I've been enjoying being single so much because I'm able to put myself first and able to like love myself first and able to, you know, take care of myself first. Because when I'm with a girl, I literally drop everything and like she's like my main priority and I know it's a really bad thing at times but that's just the way I am I'm just a very I guess you could say loving caring protective person so when it comes to me and my girlfriend I really take care of her first and so lately I've just been you know I don't have anybody so I've been taking care of myself and it's a good feeling because you know I haven't been able to really do that I was kind of like, I don't want to say I was back to back in relationships, but you know, I was with this girl for a year and so, you know, she was my main priority. And then, like, prior to that, I had another girlfriend and then, you know, she was my main priority. And then, like, and then I was in school and, like, whatnot. And so, I kind of just put, like, girls first. And I know a lot of you guys are probably going to go down in the comments and be like, you know, like, don't be stupid, you know, don't put girls first, like, this and this and that. And let's, like, honestly, I hear it all the time from my friends, especially my mom. She's constantly telling me that, you know, like, she knows how I am, so she's always constantly telling me that, you know, I need to be careful, I need to take care of myself first. And I've been listening, I've been listening to you guys, but listening to all my friends. And honestly, I have been putting myself first, and I've been focusing on myself. That's why I'm so in tune with, like, my whole YouTube channel, because, like, if I had a girlfriend, I don't think I would have time to, like, vlog every single day and, like, post videos every single day, because the majority of my time will be spent with my girlfriend if that makes any sense so that's why I'm just trying to balance everything and not saying that if the right girl comes around that I'm not gonna like pursue her or anything but as of right now like in this moment like I'm really enjoying being single like I, I really love it as funny as it sounds and I mean it's just it's great even though sometimes I get lonely like yes I do get lonely I'm not even gonna lie I see my friends that are in relationships and I'm like I envy you but for the most part I enjoy it I also get asked a lot what type of girls I'm into and so I'm just gonna make that clear here so that everybody knows I am into girly girls so you know I am a stud some people would call me a butch I don't know because I have short hair but I am a stud and like I wouldn't date a stud so a stud is a girl that dresses very boyish so like obviously I dress very boyish and so I wouldn't date another girl that looked like me, like dress wise, because that's just not like, that's just not what I like. But I've considered it because these girly girls, y'all drive me crazy. Like y'all like pull my hairs, like even though I don't have a lot of hair, y'all pull my hairs out of my scalp. And like I've made a joke about it a couple times where I'm like, hey, like I'm going to go straight, like I'm going to go date a guy because like these girls are just crazy. But no nah, but really though like i like girly girls i'm into hispanics i've mostly dated hispanics um the people that i've dated are were hispanic that's just the type of girl that i'm into i don't really look for much in like looks i'm more like personality like if i could vibe with you like like if you have a great personality and you can make me laugh then like we're gonna click and not saying that like looks don't matter because obviously looks do matter, but like you don't have to look like freaking, I don't know, Jennifer Lopez or like freaking, I don't know who's another, slide, like Anna Cherry or anything. Like, is that her? Anna Cherry? I think it's Anna Cherry. I mean, they're both beautiful women, but it's like you don't have to look like that, you know? Like, I mean, I'm, I know I'm beautiful, but I'm not like the best looking person in the world. Like, there's more beautiful person. There's more beautiful person. There's more beautiful people out there, you know? And so, like, I'm not trying to be shallow or anything, even though Erica thinks I'm shallow. Erica, I know you think I'm shallow. I know you're watching this. 
but <clears throat> the type of girls that I'm into are mostly Hispanic I'm into Hispanics I'm into girly girls it's so hard to find a girl that's shorter than me because I'm not tall at all I'm like 5'2 5'3 on a good day maybe 5'3 when I'm wearing my Jordans but it's hard to find somebody that's shorter than me and so it's been difficult like mostly the girls that I've dated were a little bit taller than me which I like, really don't like because I like I'm a very protective person so I like to be like the one to protect but if I could find somebody that's like shorter than me that would be like freaking awesome and honestly just somebody that's like, down for me somebody that wants to be my best friend my partner in crime somebody that's gonna like have my back you know because I mean that's what a partner is for also somebody that's gonna support my YouTube channel because if you come into my life and you want to date me and you're not gonna support my YouTube channel then girl I am sorry but things are just not gonna work out but I hope I answered all of your questions. So again, I am single. I am ready to mingle. So if y'all have any friends that you guys want to send my way, my social medias are down below. Slide in my DMs, move in them. If you guys like, I got my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Facebook. If you're lucky, I'll give you my number. No, I'm just kidding. I probably won't give you my number. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Wish me a happy birthday because tomorrow is my birthday, y'all. I have no idea what I'm going to vlog for tomorrow's video, but we'll see if I can get some crazy footage of my birthday. Maybe I'll do something crazy. I'm not too sure. But I'll give this video a huge thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Yeah. Hey. Fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Hey. Yeah. Fuck with me and get some money. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Fuck with me. Hey. 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 H